All right, what I'd like to show you guys how to do is how to solve one-step equations. I'm going to provide you with two um, equations that we can solve for. The first one is negative 16 minus a negative t. is equal to a negative 45. And when solving, when solving one-step equations, uh, the first thing I like to do is always circle the variable. What that's going to go ahead and tell me to do is that's going to be the variable I need to solve for. So I'm just going to go and circle this variable. That reminds me that I need to get this variable by itself. The next thing I need to look at is, all right, what is, hap what is actually happening to this variable? Well, one thing I notice is I can say, well, this variable is being subtracted. From this number, negative 16 is, um, negative t is being subtracted from negative 16. However, I'm also noticing that two negative signs are right next to each other. So to simplify this, I know that the two negatives are going to cancel out to make it positive. So I'm going to rewrite this in this format. So therefore, it will make my problem go by a little bit easier. So now I look at this and I say, all right. Well, I have a, um, what is actually happening to my t? And if I look at this, I say, all right, well, you can say you're adding a negative 16. Well, the same thing as adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting, correct? If you add a negative, that's the same thing as subtracting a 16. So I need to do the opposite to get this t by itself. So I'm going to add a 16 to both sides. And when I'm adding a 16, what I like to go ahead and write is just to remember that I'm writing using the additive, or I'm sorry, addition, property of equality. What The reason why I write that is that's to remind me that I have to, I have to add my number on both sides of my equation. So therefore, when I add um, 16 to my 45, I get t is equal to 29. T is going to equal to 29. All right. Then well, I'm going to go and solve my second two-step equation, which is um, that was number 30. 30. I have three fourths three fourths um, equals W plus two fifths. Again, so on this problem, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go and check my variable and I'm going to isolate it. So therefore, it's going to be, I'm going to circle my variable. Then, the next thing I need to look at, all right, again, what is happening to my variable? And I see my variable is being added by two fifths. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to subtract my two fifths. Now, when I subtract three fourths minus my two fifths on this equation, what I'm going to obtain is uh, w equals 3 fourths minus 2 fifths. Again, I'm going to write the subtraction property of equality. Subtraction property of equality to remind me that I'm going to subtract on both sides. So now when I look at this, I'm subtracting my two fractions, so therefore I have to know that they have to have the same denominators. So again, I look at my LCD is going to be 20, so I'm going to multiply by 5 or 5, and what I get is w, got to multiply the top and the bottom by the same, make sure you show it, ah, this becomes a 4. So when I multiply 5 times 4, I'm going to get 20, 5 times 3 is going to become a 15, or 20, and then minus 2 times 4, which becomes an 8, and minus 5 times 4 becomes a 20. And then 15 minus 8 becomes 7 20s. So that's how you're going to go ahead and solve one step equations um, when given two different problems. <coughs>